What's up guys? It's me again, Dr. Jordan Mousley, Sports Chiropractic of Utah, your health performance and wellness specialist of Salt Lake City. Thank you again for joining in for our twice a week wellness tips for the month of March. So far we've had some pretty good ones. Number one was sleep. Number two, we had intake of more water. You know, hopefully that's going well for you. Then the third one, the, the first one of this week was to do what you love to do. So the, we'll move on to number four in a second, but just wanted to thank you guys for tuning in. Hope you guys are enjoying these. Let us know if you're liking them. If you want to hear of something else, if you want to hear a wellness tip of any kind, uh, let us know and we can give you our opinion about that. So anyway, we're going to jump right into it. Today's going to be a, another short one, but as you see in the description, we're going to talk about taking breaks. How many of you know someone that is just completely overworked, especially at work? They're just, you know, nose to the grind. They're constantly doing something throughout the day and they don't take time to take a break. It's very important that we talk about this topic then and share this with all of your desk working friends. All of those that just, they sit for long periods of time because this topic will be very, 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 very beneficial for them. So, and even those that may stand all day, it's important to take a break. So we're going to talk about that. Um, you will notice I'm going to reference, this is backwards because it's on selfie mode, but this is my uh, workstation micro break card. I will link this to this video. Uh, I wrote a blog post about this, about how to avoid injuries and how you can access this free PDF version of uh, a workstation micro break. And there will be a video coming out as well about what I typically recommend desk workers do. It actually demonstrates a lot of these exercises, what you can do throughout the day to alleviate a lot of stress. So let's first of all talk about some of the common conditions that a desk jockey, so to say, you know, an athlete that sits at a desk all day long, what typically they can experience. So there's a few things that athletes that sit at a desk all day long uh, experience. Low back pain being one. We have mid-back stiffness, tightness, or maybe sometimes even some burning pain sometimes. Neck tightness, but then also headaches. So the big three are the headaches slash neck pain, mid-back pain and tightness, and then the low back. And with the low back, we'll even include hips because your hips play a role with your low back as well. But when you sit down for long periods of time all day long, you're shutting off muscles that you normally need to stabilize yourself. So let's start in the low back, right? You're sitting on your butt all day long, not by choice, but because of your work environment, right? You're sitting down on your butt all day long. The main muscles that are used to stabilize your low back to keep it from hurting are the core muscles. So your abs, the deep muscles in your low back, on the side, all of those muscles your glute muscles or your butt muscles and also your hamstrings. A lot of these things are very important muscles. All these muscles are very important in providing good low back health and stability. But when you sit down on your butt all day long, how much of the butt muscles are you using? Literally nothing, right? You're sitting on them and they're not needing to work. They're not active. So in, in a muscle that's not active stops performing the way it needs to over time because it doesn't need to, right? Our body responds to the demands that we place upon it. So if we don't place any demands on our glute muscles or our butt muscles, they're not really going to be doing their job, which can lead to hip pain, could lead to bursitis in your hips, all sorts of stuff, not to mention any low back tightness or back pain. The next one, moving on up the chain, is the mid-back, right? Imagine you're sitting at your desk all day long, right? You're sitting at your computer, and as you go throughout the day, you get more and more slouched over like this. You get tired, right? I'm over-exaggerating, of course, but when our mid-back is actually meant to move a lot more than we think it does, right? Hey, Jaylene, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate you. Well, if you're sitting at a desk all day long, and you're sitting there typing, and you're going away, but then all of a sudden you, you notice you're starting to slouch over throughout the day, our mid-back becomes very, very stiff, and as a result, you know, those joints not moving, the muscles start to get tired too. Not to mention, think about this bowling ball we call our head, right? It's about anywhere between 8, 10, maybe 12 pounds, depending on how big your head is. But think about that bowling ball sitting on these tiny little blocks that we call vertebrae. They're not that big, but they're sitting on there, and then as soon as you translate your head forward a little bit, we actually exponentially increase the apparent weight of our head. So, 
you're sitting there and all of a sudden your head starts going forward a little bit more and a little bit more, a little bit more. Now instead of 10 pounds, your head feels like 24 pounds to your body. These suspensory wires we call muscle are trying to hold that head on as much as they possibly can. So those muscles are working overtime all day long. And when muscle works overtime, it becomes fatigue. Fatigue leads to injury. So if you think you work at a desk and you're not susceptible to injury, that's a lie. You are, okay? So just keep that in mind. And that which leads also to the neck pain and stiffness because all these muscles in the neck are constantly having to, to work and they get overworked, which can lead to headaches. So those are the big three that we normally talk about with desk workers, okay? And now, which brings me to wellness tip number four, take a break. I'm going to tell you that research has shown that our attention span, well, is actually really bad, <laughs> first of all. I heard a statistic the other day, I'll have to find the, the exact research, but I heard a statistic the other day that our average attention span of a human is about seven seconds, whereas a goldfish is about eight. So way to go, guys. We've, <laughs> we've definitely decreased our attention spans. Thank you, social media. There's all sorts of things about that, too. Hey, Bonnie. Nice to see you. Thanks for tuning in. I think I know you. Anyway, so research has shown, like, if you're working, just work in general, right? Like, you have a project you're working on, and you're going at it really, really hard. Your attention span actually, actually decreases significantly after about 45 minutes, 45 to 50 minutes of continuous work. So your ability to focus and concentrate and actually be productive during after that amount of time of continuous work is really not that great. Um, oh yeah, good idea. Turn on the notification. So, but yes, you need to, so after the 45 to 50 minutes of straight work, what I recommend is you get up and you move. Just move, okay? Stand up walk to the drinking fountain and walk back. Walk and talk to somebody. Instead of sending an email to somebody, actually get up, physically walk there and move. And actually do some movements. Do the opposite of what you're used to, right? You're sitting there, you know, like this at a desk. Stand up and actually extend your back. You know, stretch your neck a little bit. Like I said, I will attach the link to access the micro state or the micro break uh, card, the workstation micro break card. Do those throughout the day. I recommend you get up at least once an hour. If you've been sitting for an hour straight, get up, move around, because your attention span will reset, right? You'll be able to focus and get a lot more done and be more productive. You'll have more energy because you're not constantly using these muscles all day long that are working overtime, right? So you're giving those a break. And just by waking up, getting oxygen to your brain is very important because our brain functions off oxygen. As soon as oxygen's gone, then we're toast, right? Like if you're, you're standing, you're giving a speech, they say, don't lock out your knees. Why do they say that? Because the blood flow doesn't get back to your head and doesn't bring the oxygen to your head. So what's your body's response to that? Well, let's throw you on the floor and get blood back to the, get you back on level ground and get blood and oxygen to the brain. So get up and move. I'm not suggesting, by the way, that you're going to pass out because you're sitting there. Not suggesting that. But just saying, get up and move. So take a break, you know, get up, walk around, Get some water, right? That was wellness tip number two. Um, so just realize that your attention span really is no good after 45 straight minutes of work, 45 to 50 straight minutes. So we got to take a break. I know you love hearing that, right? But it is very important for your health, wealth, your health and performance, and well, even your wealth, I would say too. So your health, performance, and wellness. So that's our tip for this week. Thank you guys for tuning in. It was good to see that we had some live watchers here today. Remember, take a break. That's all I have to say. Good to see you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Tune in next week for Wellness Tips 5 and 6 of March for our Spring Into Wellness campaign, we'll, where we'll provide you with some more sweet info. Thanks for the heart, the thumbs ups. Jaylene, thanks for tuning in. Bonnie, always good to see you. I'll see you soon. So thanks guys for tuning in. We'll talk to you later.